As we go further, the tunnels began turning into rooms, perhaps for the students who acted out in class in the 60s. found in this next room could be the scariest encounter we've had with the paranormal world, the demon of little Susie Sprinkerfield. And there she is looking back at us with her cold dead eyes. Zach Chambliss. It was cool. Dude, it was how dark, was it? it was cramped, too tall for this crap. I don't know how Jack did it, but it was great. Adam Tucker. It was dark, smelly, kind of smelled good actually. Love the <laughs> sweet smell of dust yeah, and whatnot. Jack Laney. I have to disagree with Adam. I thought it smelled absolutely horrible. Oh yeah, it's <laughs> just stupid. And it was cool, but I'm way too tall to go down there. Bronson Lee. Let's go. Lorenzo Chambliss. Ooh, I'm just glad I made it back alive. Paris Ball. We got some demons down here. We got some demons. Dr. Chambliss. I don't think these guys are talking about the height problem. I didn't have any kind of problem like that. <laughs> I enjoyed going with you guys. We now know about the catacombs of Fairless High School. The notorious tunnels of Fairless High School. Where are they? Where do they go? The world may never know. Hi guys, Paris Ball here. I hope you enjoyed the tunnel show, but I'm supposed to tell you that there's absolutely nothing down there. Everything was over-dramatized for the sake of the show and for Falcon Media, and yeah, we had permission to do everything, so don't try to find them.